So he's like, yeah, you, you got really nice feet. It's like, uh, look, um, do you mind? I'll give you another hundred dollars. Will you let me worship your feet? Hey gorgeous, thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, stick around. My name is Caswell and I basically talk about whatever's on my mind. Um, if you look behind me, this is actually all the inventory I have for my business that I'm starting up that I'm probably gonna do a YouTube video about within the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. But today I wanted to talk about when I was involved in the foot fetish industry. Mm, where to start? Um, okay, we'll start at the beginning. In the early 2000s, I had just moved to New York City and I was without a doubt a starving artist trying to make it in the music industry. At the time that this was happening, I had just started working at Barracuda, which is a drag bar on 22nd and 8th Avenue. And I worked there maybe like three times a week. I worked there Thursday night, no, I worked there Wednesday night, Thursday night and Friday happy hour. Now at this time that I was working at Barracuda, I met a lot of people and I started to meet more and more guys that were escorts. So I would ask questions and at that time, if you were an escort in New York City, you usually placed an ad in a gay rag. So that would be like HX Magazine, Next Magazine, or The Village Voice. So when I talked to my friends that were making money doing this, I knew I wasn't comfortable being an escort. I'm not what you call a good whore. I have a hard time having sex with people when I don't even like the sound of their voice. You know what I mean? Like I, I knew I couldn't be an escort. I didn't have it in me. But then I had some friends that did massage work. The guys I knew that were escorting typically got $200 an hour. The guys I knew that did massage work that would come to you or maybe you would come to their place if they had a massage table. Some of them traveled with massage tables. Um, they would get $100 an hour. So I thought maybe I could get into massage work. Obviously that's gonna come with the release. I don't know, I'm not even really comfortable with that. And then around this time, uh, a friend called me up and he asked me if I wanted to go to The Lore. The Lore has since closed, but The Lore was a leather bar in the meatpacking district of New York. And that was right around the corner from where I worked. So we went there one night and it was foot fetish night. And I, I like a good foot massage. And there were guys giving foot massages for free. And there was one guy there that was a really good foot masseur and he did reflexology on the feet. And I thought, I wanna, I wanna check this out. So I let this guy massage my feet and I paid very close attention to what he did. And I basically thought, I could do this. Like I know exactly what he did. I knew his whole routine. Like I paid very close attention to it. But I thought, mm, I'm not too sure. Like technically, is this legal? Is this not legal? And then the next morning I woke up up and I went to get a coffee in the West Village and I've, I've gone to this place to get coffee hundreds of times but it was the first time I noticed this place called Angel Feet and so I was like okay this is actually a profession you go to this place to get a foot massage so I took it as a sign I was like I'm gonna try this out so obviously I wasn't certified in reflexology, so I knew I had to do this in the back of the gay rags. So I put an ad in Next Magazine and it looked just like this. I called myself Foot Hooker and I had a whole backstory, like I would be like, you know, just to make it more exotic, I guess. I said my name was Ludwig and I was here from Poland and this is my number and I, I put something corny on the bottom of it, like the feet are the doorway to the soul, you know? So, and I said, foot massage, $90 an hour. So I left my number there and guys would call me and I would tell them, I'm like, it's a foot massage, I come to your house, it's my hands, your feet, that's it. Now when I placed the ad, I honestly did not know if it was gonna work, because I know that when guys order an escort at the back of the rags that they're expecting sex. And I know that when they order a massage that they're expecting a release. So I didn't know if anyone would want me to come to their place and give them something that I didn't consider to be sexual. I put in the ad, and I remember the first call I got and I was supposed to go to his place in Midtown, which I went, he was staying at a hotel. So when I walked in, I immediately felt comfortable. I could tell this was just like a normal 
peaceful guy that just wanted a foot massage. Like I just knew that. And he was like, you know, really cool. So he laid down on the bed. Um, he took off, uh, I think his, his, he took off his slippers uh, I, and I massaged his feet. I, before I'd done the massage, I, I was I practiced on a friend or two and they're like, oh yeah, you give a good foot massage. So I was pretty confident about it. So he gave me a hundred dollars, I left. And I, I remember like, I was like, like just making a hundred dollars in one hour was su such an elating feeling to me. Like you have to understand, I don't think it's probably changed much in New York City as far as how much you make as a cocktail waiter to be honest with you, but a Thursday night, if I worked my ass off for seven hours, I would leave, if I was lucky, with a hundred dollars. On a Wednesday night, maybe I would make 60. On a Friday uh, happy hour, maybe I would make 150. So to just massage someone's feet for an hour and make $100, like I can't explain how powerful that felt for me. And I was like, and I immediately felt like a business person. And I was, like this was my business and I was gonna handle it. I remember looking at my books because I used to write down how much I was gonna make. I ended up making between $900 and $1,500 a week just massaging feet. And I'm telling you, I felt like the smartest person in the world. I cracked the code, like I figured it out. I don't have to jerk anybody off. I don't have to have sex with anybody I don't wanna have sex with. I can just show up, give them a foot massage, and this is gonna be amazing. I wanna also say, like, you can really learn a lot about people from their feet. And I never really thought about this before, but in New York City, everyone's wearing shoes. You know, it's not like a beach city where people are always wearing sandals and flip flops or walking around the sidewalk or on the sand without shoes on. And people got some strange looking feet. Like one time I was massaging this guy and he had feet that looked like like, have you ever seen an orangutan's feet, like on the Discovery Channel? Like their feet just look like, I swear his toes were as long as my fingers. And then I I, I gave another guy a foot massage and uh, he had foot problems because he used to be a dancer, a professional dancer, and he had big ass bunions on his feet and uh, he couldn't afford to go through the operations to get them removed. So he got foot massages all the time. So he became a regular. And I actually had got a lot of regulars, became good friends of mine too. Uh, one guy who uh, at the time was a famous interior designer he became a really great friend of mine I still talk to him to this day and um, uh, he was a regular too like once or twice a week I would go to his place I had this one customer who was a professional makeup artist had a lot of money and I saw him like once or twice a week and he would just smoke blunt at the blunt while I massaged his feet he had size 14 feet though so I almost wanted to charge him extra but I didn't because he was a regular so this became literally how I survived. Not only how I survived, but how I could afford to make music and pay for studio sessions and get the beats that I wanted and pay for my music to get mixed and mastered when I was trying to make it in the, in the music world. So I started to get a name for myself because I wasn't shy about it. I certainly wasn't ashamed of it. And like people would call me on the street like, hey, foot hooker. One of the ways this actually got very interesting was I started to realize that as I massaged feet, I not only attracted guys that love to have a foot massage, I attracted guys that have serious foot fetishes. So one time I showed up at this guy's place and I was struck right away because I knew he was straight. He just gave that vibe and pretty soon he even talked about his wife and his kids, but he liked the foot massage. So I gave him a foot massage and then he says, can I see your feet? And I was like, yeah, I mean, uh, you want to see my feet? He goes, yeah, yeah. Can I just like, can I see your feet? And I was like, yeah, okay. So I like kicked off my, my sneakers. He's like, no, 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 like, can you just like sit on the bed so I can see your feet? <clears throat> I was like, all right. And I had been talking to this guy for an hour. So I didn't think that he was particularly strange or funny business. And I was like, all right, yeah, you can see my feet. So then he goes, so I sit on the bed and then he's like, oh, just, just lay, just like lay down. Let me see, like, I wanna see like the bottoms of your feet. You know what I mean? All right, so I'm laying down he goes, wow, you really have nice feet. <laughs> and, I was like, and I don't know, if it's true that I had nice feet or if you have a foot fetish, you just have to have low standards. I didn't really know because I never like took care of my feet. I, I never had a pedicure. So he's like, yeah, you, you got really nice feet. It's like, uh, look, um, do you mind? I'll give you another hundred dollars. Will you let me worship your feet? And I was like, yeah, you can worship my feet. I'm telling you, man, like, <sighs> Like he was just a, like he would take my just sniff my feet, lick my and I'm a little tickless too, so I'm like, oh, okay. Like I didn't want to start laughing and shaking my feet because I'm really squeamish and really ticklish, so I really had to zone out. All right. Okay. So then he does this thing, in which he takes the oil, and he's massaging my feet, and he 
then he pulls down his pants. And um, he's starting to touch himself with one hand while he's touching my feet. And I'm like, all right, just, I'm thinking, Cass, just take the money, man. Like, just, he just wants to play with your feet. Just let him, t let him play with your feet. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna make $200 in like an hour and 10 minutes. So he does this thing, which ends up being very common among men with foot fetishes, is he put my feet together. Now, if you put feet together, there is a little slit in between your feet that's like this shape, the shape of a vagina. And he started to my feet. So I'm looking and I wouldn't, I didn't see this coming and he's my feet. And uh, he, he was finished pretty quickly and uh, gave me another hundred dollars. I wiped off my feet, put on my socks, and I skipped out of there. Guys would call me and they would ask me, do you cater to guys with foot fetishes? I would say yes. And honestly, at that time, honey, you, you wanna lick my feet, you wanna f my feet, you wanna eat Thanksgiving dinner off my feet, you can do whatever you want because I was there for that money and all I had to do was lay there. It was the easiest money in the world. Let me tell you something. I took care of my feet like they were a brand new car. Like, I took care of my feet like when you just buy a diamond ring. Like, I took care, like, I, I started go getting pedicures like every five days. I made sure my feet were in pristine condition. I didn't wear sneakers that were too tight. Like, I took care of my feet. You did not see any dry skin on my feet ever. I mean, my feet, I made sure with perfection because I didn't know that I had this gold mine under my ankles. Then I would send guys pictures of my feet when they would when they would ask and I, I started getting so busy just letting guys play with my feet that I started to make at least $2,000 a week. But you know, I, I balanced it out. I would say I still got more guys that just won the foot massage, but I would charge the guys that wanted to play with my feet 200 bucks and they paid it and tipped me. But I, I gotta say, like, I really loved my job. I mean, I had the easiest job in the world. I was good at giving a foot massage. Someday I would bang out like three foot massages in a day. If any guys want to play with my feet, I like that too. I could just basically like, sit back and read a magazine while they played with my feet for 20 minutes. So I ended up doing this for about a year and a half to two years. And then the economy crashed and nobody had any money. So that's when I started doing full body massage. And then I also did a little bit of escorting. But I think that's for another chapter, another video. I might actually take part two to this and put it on my Patreon that's gonna start at the end of the month because the details are kind of grimy and um, it might be better for Patreon than YouTube. Plus it's really sensitive material. I don't feel bad charging for it, but we'll see. Let me know if you wanna hear part two. Now, when you do any job like this, you do always end up meeting a couple creeps, you know? So one time, I won't forget this, uh, I, it was Columbus Day weekend, and I'll tell you later how I remember it was Columbus Day weekend, and it was raining really hard. And this guy called me, and he wanted me to go to his place and give him a foot massage. And he asked me the price, I told him $90, he goes, that's fine, be here at 8 p.m. I get to his place at 8 p.m., and he lived in a luxury apartment building. And when I walked in, he wasn't your typical, like, friendly guy, like, typically, you know, I show up, before I get to work, they're very hospitable. They, would you like a, some water, some coffee? Do you need anything? Do you need just a bathroom? It's right there. Like people are generally very nice whenever I showed up at their house or their apartment. But this guy was like, all right, you ready? Uh, sit right there. I'm gonna lay there. Uh, do you have oil? No, I have oil. Okay. He laid down. He remember he was wearing a blue silk robe and he put his headphones in. Sidebar, very often guys fall asleep and start snoring when I'm giving a foot massage. Like foot, my foot massage, put you to sleep. So I was done with my job. I gave him a good foot massage. He stood up, put his slippers back on. And he goes, okay, thank you very much for your service. Get home safely. So he handed me some money and it was 60 bucks. So I said, oh, oh excuse me, it's actually $90. You only gave me 60. He turned to me, he looked me dead in the eye and he says, oh no, don't you remember? You told me to give me a deal for Columbus Day. And he had this look in his eye, like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna call the cops? What are you gonna do? Like, that's what he was telling me through telepathy. Damn, I was pissed. I was angry, but I kept it professional <clears throat> for that moment. Look, I might daydream some time, but I know I didn't offer anybody some Columbus Day sale. No, this ain't Best Buy. So I looked at him and I smiled like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. You're right. I, I always offer a sale on holiday weekends. You're absolutely right. I apologize. Do you mind if I use your bathroom? So I went to his bathroom, locked the door, and I took a big piss on his toothbrush. 
And I know it was his toothbrush because it was only one there. And at the time, I was taking a lot of vitamins, so this was a stinky piss. All right. I, now this might sound gross to you, but I'm telling you right now, I was not gonna leave there unless I felt like I got even with this piece of shit. So let me know down below if you want a part two to this story. Also, if you enjoy receiving a foot massage, I know some people don't, some people do, that I'm really interested in knowing that. So leave a foot emoji in the comment section if you enjoy receiving a foot massage. Please like and subscribe. You're already here, you got nothing to lose, and I got a goal of making 50,000 subscribers this year. So thank you for listening. My name is Caswell, and I'll see you very soon. Big kiss.